I'll just your magnificent, your great mind on just napakabuti niyong just sa amin pa. Lord, uh, mga, sa mga oras po na ito, na sila at kami po ay nagpapakumbaba, malapit kami sa inyo, humihiling kami na inyong awa, habag sa pagkukulang namin, ang bagay na hindi namin nagagawa, Panginoon, just para sa inyo. Lord, um, dalangin nga po namin, Panginoon Diyos, na buksan niyo po ang aming mga puso at isipan at uh, inalan niyo nga po kami sa mga oras na ito dahil nais ng puso namin, Panginoon Diyos, na kami po ay matuto sa inyong mga salita. At uh, kami po ay uh, hindi manatiling mangmang pagkos, Panginoon Diyos, kami po ay maraming nalalaman. At ito po yung mga bagay na nalalaman ito ay nagagamit namin sa aming spiritual life, spiritual growth. Lord, i-guide niyo po ang aming uh, speaker today, Pastor Ray. Salamat po sa kanyang buhay sa pag-ibigay uh, niyo po ng oras sa pag-aaral na ito para ito po yung ma-share sa aming mga uh, makikinig. For the, I bless him, give him the wisdom, the knowledge, the boldness to speak, to teach us, Panginoon Diyos. And Lord, give us the hunger to really grasp take advantage of this time para kami po ay matuto Panginoon Diyos. Ito po ay uh, hindi na kami matuto. Ito po ay talagang tumimo sa aming mga puso. Ito ay magsilbing tabak. Kasi nasabi niya sa April 4.12 tatago sa aming mga puto Panginoon Diyos. Mga Panginoon Diyos, mga kaalamang ito, hindi lang manatili sa amin. Pagkos ito rin ma-share namin Panginoon Diyos sa mga tao. Lord, nawa po yung mga hindi pa namin kasama mga yung araw ang oras na ito, uh, po Panginoos, makahabol sila at uh, ma-realize nila na oras na ito ay napakaganda. Dito po ay uh, kailangan ng kailangan namin sa aming spiritual world. Salamat po Panginoon Diyos at uh, lahat po ng ito ay tinataas na namin sa inyo and we already claim the victory. Jesus Christ mighty name. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, meron na tayo 11 participants. Sino yung mga wala rito noong last week? Para hindi, baka hindi nyo nasundan, ano? Uh, anyway, nagpasa naman tayo nung ano, sa pan natin. Sa... Pasa naman tayo ng uh, PDF dun sa mga group natin. Pastor, so, pwede rin po ma-share dito sa chat box nung last na session, PDF po. Saan po natin ano? Kahit dito na lang As, po sa... Sa chat box ba? Pwede yun? Apo. Kahit later na lang, Pastor. Na share ba yon? Apo. Ah, okay. Eh kaso pag nag-log out tayo, mawawala rin. Uh, mawawala lang po para sa kanilang lahat. Oh, ma- wa- pwede na po na lang isave. Once na ha? na-save. Once na na-share niyo po, pwede po na lang save. Ah, hindi mo na kukuha, no? Hindi ka naka-join dun sa ano? Opo. Hindi ka nakakakuha, bro Ruel? Hindi po. Ah, okay. Sige, pisahan ko pa. Kahit next, later na lang po. Ah, ah, ah. ah. Sige, okay. Ay, pasa ko din dun sa ano, sa, um, sa Dubai. Sa group ng Dubai. Uh, kasi mostly ginagawa ko, pinapasa ko lang sa group ng mga deacons, elders, tsaka sa council. And uh, binibigay ko na yung responsibility sa bawat charge na i-share nila doon sa ibang mga, alimbawa yung mga uma-attend na wala doon sa group na yun, uh, na ma-share nila. So anyway, pagka ano, may, may access naman tayo sa Dubai, so pwede ko mag-share doon. Okay pa. Okay. Okay, so one minute. Uh, pag-uusapan natin ngayon tungkol sa monergism. Ayan. Monergism uh, compared to its counterpart, synergism. So yan yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Ayun uh, uh, nga isang tanong ni uh, Elder uh, 
uh, Ronnie nung last week, sabi niya, if this is a doctrine, uh, malamang meron itong uh, uh, counterpart or meron itong uh, opposite side, uh, opposite view. Yes, this is a doctrine and there is an opposite view. At ito nga ang pag-uusapan natin. Ang uh, view ng uh, monergism at, uh, at uh, in uh, opposite to uh, synergism or synergism. Uh, at yung mostly nag uh, advocate sa doctrines na to. Ayan. Yun ang uh, titignan natin at uh, pag-uusapan natin. So sana maano nyo ulit, makatch nyo. Uh, kung mabilis man ako, i-notes nyo lang or ilagay nyo yung uh, yung uh, nais nyo itanong sa chat box natin. Uh, from time to time siguro you open ko and uh, uh, meron naman din tayong admin na magre-remind kung meron tayong mga question dyan. Okay? So let me start. Kung uh, titingnan natin, sabi nga natin, pag-aaralan natin yung counterpart. And when we say counterpart, ito yung opposite ng uh, siyang view. So ang opposite ng monergism is uh, synergism. At na nakuha natin no, na tutuhan natin that uh, or nala, na, na, nalaman natin last week sa topic natin that uh, the etymology or the origin of this word na monergism it consists of two main parts meron itong prefix at saka yung suffix or the root the root word and in monergism the greek prefix mono it signifies one yan yan yun, no? yung greek uh, suffix mono lagyan natin ng pen para ano yan Yan, yan. Yung mono na yan. Ibig sabihin yan, one. Yan. Or kapag ka ginagamit ito sa English, it uh, indicate single or alone. And then the root word or the suffix na erg yan, or, or ergon means to work. So pag yan pinagsama natin, lalabas niyan ang word na monergy or monergism. It means the work of one or work alone. Ngayon, of course, itong uh, opposite or counterpart ang uh, titignan din natin. Okay? So, the prefix, yung synergism, yung prefix niya to, no? Na pareho lang ito ng uh, monergism. Meron itong two parts. Uh, meron siyang prefix, meron siyang suffix. So, yung uh, prefix niya na sin, yan. ang ibig sabihin niya is with. Yan. So, kung yung uh, monergism, mono, is alone, itong sin, sa synergism ibig sabihin nito is with with or sometimes when we use it in english it indicates together welcome brother inubot oh si Sino ba tong kapatid na to? Maliit kasi sa screen ko eh. Eric? Er, hindi, hindi si Eric. Hello, brother! Si, hindi si Eric yan. Nagtaas ng kamay. Si B20. Ha? B20. Hindi nakalagay yung pangalan. Hindi ko makita sa 
Ano kay? Kung sino. Anyway, no problem. Welcome, brother. So I have to speak English. Straight. Okay? Because we have uh, our African brother who joined us. So the suffix, the suffix comes, uh, the suffix of synergy, synergy seem na seen, it means with, or in English work, they sometimes uh, use together. No? So synergy seem shares a common root of suffix. Sa monergy seem, pareho sila. Erg or ergon, na ibig sabihin ay uh, to work. Ayan, pareho lang sila yung suffix niya. Ayan, yung suffix ng synergy shape. So kapag ka pinagsama natin yan, yan yung etymology niya, that's the origin kung paano na-compose na, na tong word na to. Okay? So pag pinagsama mo yan, there's a meaning na work with. Ayan. Ang meaning niya ng synergy uh, synergy or synergism comes from sin at saka erg. Ang ibig sabihin niya is work with or work together. Ayan, work together. So, dyan, yan, dyan, dyan, nag, uh, dyan ang uh, etymology or that's the origin of these words. No? Monergism at saka synergism. So, dyan pa lang makikita na natin kung ano yung pagkakaiba niya. No? One is work alone. Yung other, yung another one, yung uh, synergism is works together. So may kasama. Now, monergism is something that operates by itself. Okay? As the pero pag ayun, pag nag-ooperate ito, nag-ooperate ito as the soul active party. Ayan. Soul active party. Ayan. Yan yung pinaka key. No? And synergism is a cooperative venture. May kasama. No? From, from the, from the uh, word or from its etymology, yung, yung original language kung paano natin nakita. No? Sabi nga, together, may kasama. So there is it is a uh, cooperative venture, a working together of two or more parties. Yeah, hindi lang dalawa, but more, pepeding more. Uh, um, uh, ano siya? Mag, may, may, may kasama siya habang ginagawa niya. So that's the that's the that's the meaning of uh, synergism and monergism. So just to make it uh, more uh, familiar about this word. Work alone and the other one is working together. Okay, now, uh, last week also we learned the, the um, uh, meaning in theology that uh, monergism is the doctrines that the Holy Spirit is the only efficient agent in regeneration. That the human will possess no indication to holiness until regenerated or born again. And therefore, ayan, cannot cooperate in regeneration. So, uh, yan, yan ang pinaka ano niya, uh, meaning niya when it comes to theology. So, yung synergism, ang meaning naman nito, the doctrine is the doctrine that there are two efficient agents in regeneration. Yan. There are two efficient agents in regeneration. Yung isa, yung pagkakaibin niya rito, only efficient agent. Yan. Dito, two efficient agent. Okay. Sino to? Human will okay. and the divine will. Ayan. Yung dalawa na yan. Huh? 
yung tao at ang Diyos. Ito, tao. Yan. Ito, Diyos. So, they work together in regeneration. No? They are the two efficient agents. Okay? Which in the strict sense of the term, no? cooperate. they cooperate. They are working together sa regeneration. That's the uh, meaning of uh, monergism and synergism in theology. Okay? Now, the Holy Spirit okay, who joins, who join us to Christ, if we will explain monergism, we can ask through the outward call cast forth by the preaching of His Word. So kapag narinig natin, ang Holy Spirit nag-work yan sa buhay ng tao. Okay? So ang ginawa niya, uh, He disarmed our innate hostility to God. Okay? So pinag pinagkasundo tayo because we are hostile to God. No? Kaaway, we are enemy, we are unfriend. So, and ginawa ng Holy Spirit, He removed our blindness. Katulad ng sinabi natin, no? uh, um, uh, it is only God who give us eyes and ears. No? This, uh, we are talking about the spiritual uh, eye, the spiritual uh, hearing, and understanding. So, the Holy Spirit removes our blindness. Illumines our mind and creates understanding and turns our heart of stone to a heart of uh, uh, flesh. So, sabi nga natin, uh, the circumcision of the heart. Yun yung natutunan natin last week. Okay? So, only then, Do we apprehend the beauty and excellency of Christ? Doon lang natin malilita, doon lang tayo maliliwanagan, uh, doon lang natin maiintindihan ang mga bagay patungkol kay Kristo. Without Holy Spirit working with us, hindi natin ma maano yan, maintindihan. So, monergism is when God conveys that Power into the fallen soul whereby the person who is to be saved is enabled to receive the offer of redemption. So, yung work na ginawa ng Holy Spirit uh, na, 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 na nangangahulugan na binuksan niya sa atin no, na makilala natin si Kristo. Makilala natin ang ginawa ni Kristo. Now, in synergism, okay, this jury accordingly holds that the soul has not lost in the fall all inclination toward holiness. Kasi uh, if you remember, no, sabi natin, uh, uh, naka-incline ang tao sa, uh, sa sin. So there is no righteousness with him. There is no righteous and no not one, sabi na nga ng, ng, ng salita ng Diyos. So, uh, for, for, uh, ang explanation nito ng synergism, hindi naman daw lahat or hindi naman nawala lahat. Okay? Yung inclination natin toward holiness. Okay? Even the power to seek for its, uh, for, for this holiness. Nor the power, nor all the power seek for the holiness. So, ibig sabihin, ng isang tao, uh, kaya pa niyang makita ang mga bagay na to. Okay? Under the influence of ordinary motive. So, yun ang pagkaka-explain. So, kung, kung iintindihin natin mabuti, uh, garito lang yan. Okay. Uh, tingnan natin yung sinabi ni R.C. Sproul. When the term monergism is linked with the word regeneration, okay, the phrase described 
an action by which God, the Holy Spirit, works on a human being without this person's assistance or cooperation. So, ang tawag niya doon is operative grace. Okay? So, this grace of regeneration is operative grace. While under synergism, okay, cooperative grace ang tawag dito. Okay? Which is, on the other hand, is grace that God offers to sinner. Inoffer lang daw to. And that they may accept or reject depending on the sinner's disposition. Ayan. Kaya yung, uh, uh, remember Ren, when, when, uh, when I said that the doctrine okay, of uh, synergism, I explained in this uh, page, okay, is uh, ang explanation nila, further explanation nila, is ang tao naman daw, No? Uh, kaya pa hindi nawala yung total total inclination niya sa sa sa, sa, sa holiness. Ayan. Hindi daw nawala yon. Okay? Hap lang. Kalahati lang. Hindi lahat. Now. So sabi nga natin, under synergism, ang ang tawag dito ni Archie Sproul is cooperative grace in which ang ginawa ng ng Holy Spirit is inoper niya sa sinner okay ang grace and yung tao or yung sinner pwede niyang i-accept or i-reject ayan depending on the sinner's disposition depende kung saan siya naka-incline Okay? That's why somebody claim, uh, some people claims, or they, not only claiming, they want, or they stick to the view na we have free, uh, we have free will to choose. Kung kaya kong, uh, kung gusto kong tanggapin ang ino-offer na grace or hindi. Ayan, dyan na lumalabas yan. So dyan, na, ngayon natututunan natin that this, that the meaning of this is synergism. Kasi minsan yun lang yung nalalaman natin, di ba? Ah, uh, may mga tao na ang sabi, we have a free will. So at least now, pinalalalim natin ang ibig sabihin nun. So this is their claim. They are in the position of synergism. Yeah. So nang, ang mga nasa position naman, nang nagsasabi na it is only God's work. Kung bakit meron akong uh, salvation, not my choice. Uh, yan naman ang position ng monergism. So nakakasunod po ba? Nakakasunod kayo? Or may, you, you have the still uh, confused or meron pa rin kayong deny, intindihan? Pwede po kayong mag-question kasi uh, uh, bago tayo lumayo, no? at least na unawaan nyo yung pagkakaiba ng dalawa the monergism at saka synergism okay so pwede niyo i-type sa type sa ano no sa ating text box or Pastor Wendel box. po Pastor Wendel ano po ang uh, meron ba yeah, okay lang pastor i-type mo na lang sa chat chat sa chat box okay okay tuloy-tuloy okay. lang bago tayo lumayo no bago tayo lumayo now the big question is Okay, nakita natin yung explain ni ano, no? R.C. Sprout about monergism at synergism. Sabi niya, uh, I can explain this in this way. Uh, there is operative grace and cooperative grace. Now, the big question is, can we cooperate to the grace? Ayan. Can we cooperate to the grace? Pwede ba? Pwede pa tayong makakooperate sa grace. Bago tayo lumayo, kasi baka mamaya ma, 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 malayo na tayo, hindi nyo na masundan lalo. Okay? Uh, anyone can uh, answer if you like. No? 
we can discuss this for five minutes. At least kung medyo ma mahit lang ng konte. Or if there is someone who can say yes or no. So, pwede nyong, uh, pwede nyong ano, pwede nyong uh, sagutin. Uh, anyone? Or wag na lang. <laughs> Okay, so kung kung wala, ganito kasi yan, monergistic regeneration. Nako, masasabihin ko, uh, we, we cannot, no? I, I don't want to be biased. No? Uh, hindi hindi ako nagsasalit na na, na na meron akong pinapanigan, but uh, 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 logically I can say we cannot. Okay? So uh, kasi yung uh, yung yung monergistic katulad na natutunan natin monergistic regeneration is exclusively a divine act. Yun ang nalaman natin, work alone. So man does not have the creative power God has. Wala siyang kakayahan, wala siyang kasing katulad ng power na meron ang Diyos, no? Hindi niya kayang bumuhay ng patay. So, to quicken a person who is spiritually dead is something only God can do. Doon pa lang. Okay. Uh, masasabi na natin na, 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 na no one can uh, cooperate to the grace. No? Uh, let's say, tingnan na lang natin. Ang uh, pagpag-usapan natin ay tungkol sa patay. No? A corpse cannot revive itself. Patay nga eh. No, he is dead. It cannot even assist in the effort. No way that he can assist or he can join. Nabuhayin yung sarili niya dahil patay nga siya. Eh. So it can only respond after receiving a new life. Ibig sabihin, gagalaw lang siya kung may bubuhay sa kanya. Makakapagsalita, makakapagsalita lang siya kung may bubuhay sa kanya. Makakarinig lang siya kung may bubuhay sa kanya. So, not only na sabi natin, it can, it can only respond kapag ka Uh, na, 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 na revive siya no to a new life okay not only it can uh, uh, can it respond then it it most certainly will respond sabi nga natin uh, we are talking about spiritual no so in regeneration the soul of man is utterly passive until it has been made alive hindi siya magiging active It offers no help in reviving itself. And uh, kapag ka na-revive na ito, it is empowered to act and respond. Pag na-revive ang isang spiritually dead. So here, ang uh, pagka uh, ano nito kung kung, kung, kung titingnan natin yung sinasabing uh, uh, operative grace ni R.C. Sproul regeneration precedes faith hindi ka magkakaroon ng pananampalataya hanggang hindi ka na -re regenerate so kailangan ma-regenerate ka muna bago ka magkaroon ng pananampalataya That's why even your faith comes from God. Okay. So that's the explanation of operative grace. This is an action by which God the Holy Spirit works on a human being without this person's assistance of, or cooperation. Okay. So synergism or synergistic regeneration reverse the operation of monergistic regeneration. So para sa kanya, faith preceding regeneration. Yan ang pagkakaiba naman nilang dalawa. Faith preceding regeneration. 
Sa monergism, regeneration precedes faith. Sa synergism, faith precedes regeneration. Okay? So the sinner who is dead in sin and in bondage to sin must somehow shed his chain. Okay? Revive his spiritual vitality and exercise faith so that he or she may be born again. That is how they explain cooperative grace according to R.C. Sproul. Okay, so ito, ganyan dyan din ni Prince ang monergism at saka synergism using grace. Okay, so it is impossible. Yung kung, kung ang question natin is uh, pwede ba na magkaroon ng uh, partisipasyon or cooperation ang isang tao sa ginawang grace ng Diyos para sa kanyang regeneration. So, hindi pa pwede. Malabo. No? Ay, patay pa lang ang pinag-uusapan. Yung kakayahan pa lang ng isang patay ang pinag-uusapan natin dyan. Okay? As an example. Okay? Now, there is question here. Okay? If we depend on monergism alone, okay? Okay. then it should mean that if a person decides to accept Christ, believe Christ, and follow Christ, is not the person's will but the work of the Holy Spirit. Tama po yun. Okay? So it is the work of the Holy Spirit in that man's life. That is why uh, he came or he comes to accept and believing Christ is God. Opo, tama po yun. Tama po yun, Pastor uh, Wenden. Okay? So that, that, that's, the, that's the, uh, uh, the explanation. Huh? Ng, uh, Monergism. So if, if your view is monergism, yun ang, yun ang uh, uh, naiintindihan mo. Uh, kaya tayo lumapit sa Panginoon dahil sa Holy Spirit. Kaya natin naiintindihan ang patungkol sa, sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo dahil pinaintindi sa atin ng Holy Spirit. Now, uh, dito na. Uh, so, so naiintindihan nyo ba? Naiintindihan nyo? Kasi lalayo na naman tayo, no? Kung paglayo natin na uh, uh, medyo medyo hindi naman siguro mabigat. No? Pero uh, papalawakin lang natin ng konti ang monergism, ang pagkakaiba ng monergism at saka synergism. No? Para lalo natin maintindihan ang ibig sabihin ng monergism. Now, kung wala na kayong question, okay? If you, if you have a question, just type it in the box, no? If you want some clarification, just type it in the box and we will try to answer. Okay? Now, ito na. So there are two, uh, 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 isang, isang tanong niya ni Elder Ron, sabi niya, uh, kung, kung meron, if this is a doctrine, no? Sino yung mga tao or sino yung mga grupo na yumayakap or 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 uh, 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 kumikiling or who inclined in this or who is the advocate eh, in these two views no of doctrines na meron tayo monergism at saka synergism okay so there are two prominent theologian yan maaring narinig niyo na to Uh, one is John Calvin and another one is Jacob Arminius. Ayan. So meron silang kanya-kanyang view. At uh, John Calvin, John Calvin views, of course, naka-incline siya sa monergism. And Jacob Arminius, Arminius view, naka-incline naman siya sa, sa synergism. Now, these two prominent theologians were followed. Of course, may mga follower yan. 
by different groups of theologians. At uh, they are called the uh, Calvinism at saka Arminianism. Ayan. So tong uh, tong dalawang to uh, 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 centuries na. For centuries talagang and magka-opposite ang view na to. Okay? But they both agreed that as long as there is no power of God's grace in a man, okay, so dito natin makikita no, pagkakaiba ng monergism at synergism siguro. Okay? Both of them, okay, John Calvin at Jacob Arminius, okay, agreed that as long as there is no power of God's grace in a man, only rebellion and unbelief are in him and that man is incapable of bringing about the change in his own heart necessary for his salvation so which is tama no kasi nga kung, kung, kung wala ang grace ng god kung wala ang grace ng god eh hindi nga talaga tayo magkakaroon ng ng uh, uh, kaligtasan or salvation. Okay, both of them agreed. So saan sila nagkaiba? Okay? Yan ang titignan natin mamaya. And apart from special grace, ito ang inatawag natin, the divine grace of God. Apart from this special grace, ito pa siya nagkaka-agree sila. Both agreed that fallen man cannot give himself life or produce or produce his own faith. Yeah. So sabi ng dalawang na to, si pareho sila na nag-agree na kung uh, kung ikaw ay nandoon sa sitwasyon that you are uh, y- yung sitwasyon natin that we are a fallen man, okay, we cannot give light okay, or produce our faith. Okay, valid. Valid sa pinag-uusapan natin. So, y- y- yun ang dapat nating ma... Uh, tandaan nyo yan. Kasi sometimes kapag kami naririnig kayo or maybe, maybe kung meron kayong kausap or may nag explain about the view of uh, 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 Armenianism, no? sometimes hindi nila ganong nakiklip ito. No? No? Hindi nila nabibigyan ng uh, tamang uh, uh, intindi ang Armenianism. Kala nila, opposite din sila da, sa, 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 sa ano na to, sa about about grace about God's grace about divine grace ang akala ng uh, ibang mga calvinism uh, opposite din si ang armenianism sa God's grace no? ano rin sila it is God's grace din sila may makakausap kayong ganyan it's God's grace pero magugulat kayo sasabihin nila uh, but but uh, i need to respond in that grace So both naniniwala, tandaan niyo mabuti ha, both naniniwala na without God's grace or without this divine grace or special grace, okay, ang kalagayan ng tao as a fallen man, they cannot give life for himself or produce his own faith. Pareho sila. Okay. So we have to be clear about that. So in connection with uh, regeneration and divine grace, ito na pag-uusapan natin, let us look at the explanation of these two theologians about these two doctrines. The synergism at the monergism. Okay, the Calvinist irresistible grace. Ayan. And the Armenianism 
prevenient grace. So we have to be familiar about this kind of grace. Okay. So ito na yon. So the difference depends on what this divine grace okay, does to the human heart and how it relates to the human will. Ayan. So, di ba, napag-usapan natin dati about human will. So, nalaman natin how, 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 we, how we respond sa mga bagay. Okay? So, sabi natin, uh, uh, yung uh, natural man, of course, they will incline. No? Yung, yung, yung nearest inclination nila, doon, yun ang magiging, uh, magiging, ano nila, magiging will nila. Or yun ang magiging... Uh, Uh, response nila. Okay, kung saan yung uh, kung saan yung pinaka nearest inclination ng isip nila. No, sabi ni uh, Jonathan Edward, uh, kung ano ang pinaka ma 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 kung ano ang uh, 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 ang human free will is about mind no? choosing. Kung ano yung na nasa pinaka uh, malapit na inclination ng pag-iisip mo, yun ang magiging response mo sa mga gagawin mo. Okay? So now, so it, it, dito sila nagkaroon silang uh, ng, ng pagkakaiba. Okay? Kung paano na-apply ang divine grace or paano kumilos yung divine grace sa puso ng tao at saka sa kanyang Uh, pag-respond. So, of course, without divine grace, tama silang pareho. Without divine grace, walang kikilos. No? Pareho sila. Without divine grace, hindi nila makikilala ang uh, uh, ang uh, Panginoong Isokristo. Without divine grace, hindi nila maiintindihan ang mga bagay tungkol kay Kristo. So, mauuna ang divine grace. Now, the view of uh, uh, Calvinist, okay, or John Calvin. So, irresistible grace teaches that the saving grace of God is effectually applied to those whom He has determined to save. The elect. And in God's timing, overcomes their resistance to obeying the call of the gospel. Okay? So, i-ano natin yan. In God's timing, overcomes, Diyos pa rin, ha? Their resistance to obeying the call of the gospel. Okay? Bringing them to faith in Christ. Diyos pa din yan. Okay? Because we are talking about monergism. Ayan. So, irresistible grace teach that the saving grace of God is effectively applied, applied by God, okay? applied by God to those whom He has determined to save. Okay, we uh, we discuss about these things, no? About the elect, kung paano nangyari yan. Okay, kung sino yung mga yan, masesave na yan. There is a uh, uh, covenant of redemption between God the Father and God the Son. Okay, sabi niya, I need, I want to save one, one trillion. Okay, this one trillion will be yours. It will be saved. It will go to heaven. No more, no less. Basta gawin mo to, okay? If you remember that covenant. Okay, so ngayon, irresistible grace teaches that the saving grace of God is effectual, effectually applied to those, okay, applied by God to those whom He has determined to save. Okay? And in God's timing, overcome their resistance. Overcome their resistance. Ibig sabihin, lahat okay lahat ng okay, ng uh, 
ng tinrabaho ng Holy Spirit na masisave, they will respond. Okay? Walang resistance na mangyayari. It will be overcome. Okay? okay? They will respond to the call of the gospel, bringing them to faith in Christ. So that's the irresistible grace. Now, the prevenient grace teaches that the offer of salvation through grace does not act irresistibly okay, in a purely cause effect. Okay? Deterministic method, but rather in an influence and respond passion that can be both freely accepted and freely denied. Okay. So sabi dyan, huh? na itong divine grace, okay, na ang daladala niya is uh, an offer of salvation, okay, pwedeng tanggihan. Parang ganun kasimple. It does not act irresistibly. No? Pwede mong irresist. Ayan. Does not act irresistibly. Ibig sabihin, pwede mong irresist ang grace. Ayan. Ang grace na yan. Ayan. Na ang daladala, salvation. Okay? So, ayan can be both freely accepted and freely denied. Okay, that's the difference between the two. Okay. Of course, napag-usap natin natin kung sino to. Ito ay depende sa tao. Depende sa ano ang magiging response ng tao. So, kumilos ang Holy Spirit. Ayun, kumilos ang Holy Spirit. Kaya lang, pwede mong i-resist. That's why, ang sabi natin sa energy sim, this is the work. Okay? With. Ibig sabihin, yung regeneration mo, it is a work with. God and man. Okay, kumilos ang God, binigay niya itong, inopen niya itong grace, na intindihan mo ang bagay tungkol kay Jesus Christ but you can act also if you will accept ayan or deny now there is a uh, one prominent armenian theologian I just only want to read this one to you, Dr. Roger Olson. Okay? He expressed his sentiment from his book Against Calvinism. Yung book niya Against Calvinism and title. Uh, as a historic, faithful, insightful Armenian, si Dr. Ro Roger Olson may mga keynote siya sa kanyang book. Sabi niya, if anyone comes to Christ with repentance and faith, it is only because they are enabled. Ayan. Tama naman. Uh, yun naman yung pinag-uusapan natin. Kung meron man lalapit kay Kristo or uh, uh, sa, sa Diyos, okay, uh, for repentance and faith, it is only because they are enabled by God. Okay. Natumbok din nila yung John chapter 6. Okay. Ang tawag nila rito sa enabled by God is prevenient grace. Ayan. When they are enabled by God, they call that prevenient grace. Hindi irresistible grace. Okay? Of course, pag tayo naman, of course, if anyone comes to Christ with repentance and faith, it is because they are enabled by God but this is irresistible grace para sa atin. Now, sinulat ulit ni Roger, kinote ni Roger Olson, uh, Arminianism, 
has always insisted that the initiative in salvation is God. Okay. Yung pagkilos ng Diyos para sa salvation, according to uh, uh, Roger Olson, in view of Arminianism, is called prevenient grace. And it is enabling but resistible. Yun lang ang pagkakaiba. Enabling but resistible. Of course, yung kabilang side naman, sa Calvinism, sabi nila, this is irresistible. Okay, John Wesley, sabi pa niya, kinote niya yung, yung sinabi ni John Wesley. Kasi uh, John Wesley is... Uh, is one of the advocate of this prevenient grace. Affirm original sin, okay, including total uh, depravity in the sense of spiritual helplessness. Yun lang. Meron pa silang ano, ah, uh, not, not all. Okay? In sense of spiritual helplessness, but he also affirmed God's universal gift of prevenient or enabling grace. Ibig sabihin ng universal, pang lahat. Ibig sabihin, lahat. Yung grace na prevenient grace, inopen para sa lahat. Ayan. Bakit hindi lahat na save? Kasi they have power to accept or deny. Ibig sabihin, ni, 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 ni John Wesley, na open ng Holy Spirit because of this gift. Okay? The prevenient grace or enabling grace inopen sa lahat ng tao. Kahit sinong tao inopen yan. Yang grace ni God. So lahat ng tao na unawaan, na intindihan okay, tungkol kay Kristo. So, this prevenient or enabling grace restore freedom of the will. Ayan, this is according to John Wesley na isinulat ni Dr. <coughs> Dr. Uh, Roger Olson okay, in his book uh, Against Calvinism. So, the classical Armenia, uh, Armenian theology attribute the sinner's ability to respond to the gospel with repentance and faith to prevenient grace. Yan. Pwedeng i-accept, pwedeng i-deny. Okay, that's the stance of synergism. Okay. So this statement suggests that prevenient grace give a sinner to respond and an ability to believe or not to believe in the gospel of Christ. And in addition, Dr. Olson quote, uh, he defined prevenient grace. Ito naman ang definition ni, 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 ano, ni Dr. Olson para lalong mas, ma, mas, ma, mas maliwanagan ang uh, gusto ko mintindi. Okay? Prevenient grace is the illuminating, convincing, calling, enabling power of the Holy Spirit, working on the sinner's soul and making them free to choose saving grace or reject it. Yan na. Yan lang sila nagkaiba. Ang laging sinasabi ng prevenient grace or uh, if you want to, to, uh, to, to catch the meaning of prevenient grace, this is the grace na pwede mong i-accept or i-reject. Okay. So, prevenient grace bring uh, one out of bondage to the point where you can receive or reject the work of God in your heart. So, eh, kung isi-circumcise yan, pwede mong sabihin, huwag mo isi-circumcise. Uh, pero logically, ang hirap pa rin intindihin eh, no? Kasi nga, uh, 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 ano eh? Yung pag sinabing senior kung size, hindi mo na may babalik eh. Kaya mo na intindihan 
kasi pinalambot na ng Diyos yung puso mo. Hindi na pwedeng, wala, wala nang reverse yun. No? Pwede, pwede ka bang isircumcise tapos marireverse mo pa? Ibig sabihin, naintindihan mo na. So, imposible yung pwede, pwede mo i- pwede mong i-reject eh. yung, yung, yung ganda ng ino-offer ng salvation, ah, na, na, napakahirap na sasabihin mong hindi ayaw, ayaw mo. Okay? Or kaya kong tanggihan. So according to Dr. Olson, Armenian theology is a partial regeneration. So this is how we explain now. Partial regeneration pa lang daw, hindi siya full regeneration. So, partial regeneration does precede conversion. Okay? But it is not a complete regeneration. Hindi parang kumpleto yon. Parang pinadilat ka, pero kalahati lang. Hindi yung parang pupungas-pungas ka siguro gano'n. Huh? Nadidinig mo, pero uh, uh, marami siguro ano, no? Ano ano ya ah, medyo bingi-bingi ka pa na ah, pa, hindi gagawin ng Holy Spirit 'yun napakalabong gawin ng Holy Spirit 'yun. Okay? So it is an awakening sabi ni Dr. Olson and enabling. Enabling daw. Okay? But not an irresistible force. Pwede daw tanggihan. Enabling siya pero pwede mong tanggihan. No. Ay hirap na hirap ako talaga intindihin din eh. Kahit ako nakukulitan ako eh. <laughs> uh, kung meron man may stance diyan sa you know, pasensya na kasi talagang na ini-explain ko hindi ako bias, ini-explain ko but but uh, but, but to reconcile uh, to to the, to the work of the Holy Spirit parang hirap, no? So anyway, let's let's study. So prevenient grace is God's powerful attracting, attracting pa daw ah, and persuading power that actually impart free will to be saved or not. Attracting and persuading power, ganun pa niya dinipine. Which is, pag sinabi natin, attracting eh, talagang, oo na ako dyan, attracting yan eh. No? And powerful, and persuading. So ang hirap, ah, hirap i-reconcile ng logic, ang hirap i-reconcile kung paano paano mo kakagatin or paano ka titingin sa ganitong clashing uh, uh, ano yung uh, uh, view okay so anyway let's uh, response no kung meron kayong ano pa ba meron pa bang question wala pa no okay uh, siguro naman na uh, nauna naman ay ah, to is calvinism essential for salvation okay uh, tapusin natin muna tapos does one need to believe calvinism in order to be saved okay if not was Spurgeon wrong when he said that Calvinism is the gospel and not nothing else? Was Englishma wrong when he said that Calvinism is the gospel? Okay. It's outstanding, outstanding doctrines are simply the truth that makes up the gospel. Okay. Departure from Calvinism. Okay. Therefore, is apostasy from gospel of God's grace in Christ. Okay, sasagutin natin yan mamaya. Okay, so, iano muna natin to. Okay. Uh, tignan din na muna natin yung sinasabi ni, ni Calvinism bago natin sagutin yan. Okay, at least yun yung sinabi ng ano na, ang sinabi ng, uh, ng uh, pumapanig sa Armenianism, which is uh, one of the uh, 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 advocate is Dr. Ol Oslon. Okay. Now, Uh, Calvinism says God's grace does not just bring us up to a point of partial regeneration. Nakatulad ng sinabi ni uh, Olson. No? Cal- Calvinism says God's grace does not stop okay, and leave the outcome to our ultimate self-determination. So, hindi daw ganon. Sabi ni, ni, ni Albinism, hindi pa pwedeng mangyari na, na uh, this is the God's grace tapos uh, ihintayin pa niya kung ano ang self-determination mo. Your ultimate self-determination. 
Okay, remember we talk about that, no? Uh, uh, I make clear about that uh, self determination na inexplain ni Archie Sproul. I even na uh, give you a link to 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 read the uh, to watch his explanation, no? About free free will. So, ang sabi ng prevenient grace suggests that a man, not God, does the final and ultimate decisive act. So according to Arminianism, the final act that brings one into Christ, okay, that uh, uh, decisive moment in conversion is one that this uh, person perform, not God. So that is their uh, their their, their uh, uh, explanation. But Calvinism says that God does more or God does more in our conversion. Namely, number one, He overcome. No? Yun yung sinulatan natin. No? Ayan, he overcome. All of our resistance. He opened our eyes. Bukas talaga yan. Kitang-kita natin. Walang maitatago. No? He, 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 he opened our a heart okay, to make Christ so real and so beautiful and so compelling no, that our will gladly embrace Christ and our Savior and Lord. And then we will treasure God or we will treasure Christ. Uh, this is how, how uh, Calvinism explained. No? He, God does more. Todo. Hindi konti lang. Hindi kalahati lang. O ito yung God's grace. Bahala ka na. Tanggapin mo. Hindi. It's not like that. Ito ang God's grace. Tanggapin mo to. This is irresistible. Okay. Now, the question. The question siguro, yung uh, uh, tanong ni uh, ate na ni kuya no no ito isa-isahin natin no is calvinism essential for salvation okay okay ano ba ang sinasabi ng calvinism kailangan maintindihan natin ano yung sinasabi ng calvinism bago ko sulit sabihin kung it is essential or no kasi we will not define that as calvinism the definition of this calvinism yun ang kukunin natin no it can become different It can become Rayanism. No? Pwede yun. Oh, malay mo, marami kong, mas marami kong follower. Maging Rayanism. Rayanism. No? Eh, eh, depende yan. Depende paglipas ng mga panahon. Okay? Because, because the teaching of Calvinism comes from Augustine. It comes from Augustine. The, the first century. Ayan. First century father, Christian. Ayan. Okay. Teacher, theologian. Galing sa kanila yan. Even, even Calvinism is, is not, it, it did not come from Calvin. Ito yung view niya. Yung mga follower ni Calvin sila yung nag, na, na, naglagay ng pangalan na we are Calvinism. Okay? So we have to be clear about that. Ano ang sinasabi ni Calvin? Or ano ang stand ng Calvinism? Before we can say uh, essential ba to for salvation? Okay? Does one need to believe Calvinism in order to be saved? Okay? Uh, again, uh, pupunta tayo. Ano ba yung sinasabi ni Calvin? Ano ba yung stand ng Calvinism? If they are uh, grace alone, then sabihin ko, essential in uh, ang Calvinism. No? And this Calvinism, ang kailangan ko in order to be saved. 
the, the teaching of Calvinism. And saan galing itong teaching ng Calvinism? It comes from the Bible. Biblical ba itong Calvinism? If it is biblical and it is the, the correct uh, explanation of the gospel, pwede kong sabihin. It depends kung ano ang uh, kung ano yung nakapaloob dito sa Calvinism. Okay? So I think I I already answer. If not, of course I said yes. It is essential. Depende kung kung ito nga okay, kung kung ang pagkakaunawa natin about Calvinism is the correct correct gospel na itinuturo biblical this is essential. This is the only one the, the, the only thing that ano no? Uh, yung, yung teaching na yon comes from the gospel, uh, teaching of Christ. Okay? So siguro ito yung sinasabi nila is part yun. That uh, uh, Calvinism, Calvinism is the gospel and nothing else. Okay? Because if you if you learn what, what's the teaching of Calvinism, then maunawaan mo. Okay, so siguro dun natin anuhin yun. So uh, pare-pareho lang naman yata ito was Enel's ma wrong when he said that Calvinism is the gospel. It's uh, outstanding doctrines are simply the truth that make up the gospel. Okay, because he explained well. Siguro. Okay. The part you're from Calvinism therefore is apostasy from the gospel of God's grace in Christ. Uh, of course, if you understand Calvinism, You, you can say apostasy. Again, uh, hindi natin i, i, ano lang yung Calvinism. Kung ito'y maging reism. Re, 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 no? Kung ito'y ma-attach ma, ma sa pangalan ko later on, siguro. No? 10,000 million views. No? Na at sa... Pilip nilang iniintindi si Calvin, hindi nila maintindihan. Dahil siguro iba na yung generation. Mas naintindihan nila sa akin, sa generation ko napanood nila ngayon ng explanation ko. Which comes naman kay Calvin. And Calvin, nag-comes naman to Augustine. Parang ganun lang yon. And Augustine, it comes naman from 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 the uh, the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Sa teaching nila Paul. Yung, yung teaching ni Paul comes to Jesus Christ. So, nag-ugat-ugat na doon. Now, siguro na ano na natin ito. Na, Uh, pag-usapan na lang natin it mamaya pagka hindi pa naging maliwanag. Now, the question is, ganito naman ang pinakamagandang question. Which of those is biblical? Okay, na-explain na natin. Tama? Uh, uh, of course, na-explain ko ang monergism, na-explain ko ang synergism. Okay? Sino sa dalawa ang biblical? Sabi ni Kuya, ni Pastor Wendell, synergism is direct conflict to the nature of man. If we talk about nature of man, oh, biblically, okay, synergism is direct conflict. Okay, sabi naman ni, ni uh, Kuya Jomar, okay, uh, you did not choose me, but I choose you and appointed you so that you might go and uh, bear fruit, fruit that the last and so that whoever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Ano pa ba yung mga dito? Brother Wendell. Okay? The person without the spirit. Okay. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. The person without the spirit does not accept the things that comes from the spirit. Okay. Ito nga yung ina-explain natin. Both of them, uh, uh, yung, yung uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Dito nga nagkakaano. Pag talagang na, na, nakausap nyo yung hi, his, historical Armenian, alam nila kung paano, kung ano talaga ang stand the Armenius. Both of them uh, uh, agreed about the, gods, uh, the grace of God. Ano yung grace of God? No? They will enable the person to come to Christ. Ang pagkakaiba lang, okay, yung isa, irresistible, yung isa, Prevenient. Which, in other words, I can resist. I have, uh, uh, I have my uh, freedom to accept 
or deny. Okay? Uh, ang pagkaka in, ang pagkakaintindi nung ang pagkakaano ng dalawa is if 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 uh, both person, sabi nila, if both person believes, no, about the divine grace, ang mangyayari, ang Holy Spirit magwo-work sa lahat ng sa tao. Okay. Ang pagkakaiba sa sa monergism, okay? If we, if, we, if we go with the John Calvin's view, ang ang uh, ang uh, ang Holy Spirit magwo-work lang dun sa elect. Kay uh, kay uh, Jacob Arminius or kay John Wesley or kay Dr. Oslon, ang Holy Spirit magwo-work sa lahat. Depende sa tao ngayon kung tatanggapin o hindi. So mauunawaan, ang explanation nila rito sa 1 Corinthians 2.14, tama ka, mauunawaan ng tao. Ang question, tatanggapin man ng tao o hindi. Yan. So which one is biblical? Okay? So this is how they will going to, uh, to uh, answer you about 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. And even John chapter 6.14. 53, I think, 54. Okay? There is no one who understands. There is no one who seeks God. Okay. So this is also the same. Okay, no one understands, no one seeks God. Sabi ni Arminius, yes, totoo yan. And we need the divine grace. So the divine grace, the Holy Spirit will work He will enable that person. The only problem is, will this person accept or deny or reject Christ? They can answer this one. They can easily answer this one, mga kapatid. Okay? But we have to have one specific verse para sabihin natin, ano ang biblical ngayon? Both are biblical. Kung titingnan lang natin to mga verse na to, both are biblical. Okay. So Ngayon. The, uh, let's go back to the question. Which of those two is biblical view of how God's grace bring us to faith and salvation? Half regenerated lang ba tayo? At kapag ni-reject natin, balik tayo mamamatay. Or full regeneration. So does it make us free to choose grace or reject it? Or does it overcome our rebellion and blindness so that we can, uh, 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 we, we can uh, draw triumphantly by the beauty of Christ to embrace what is true and real? So, yun ang question. So I think uh, we lagpas na tayo. So I will uh, answer in our Friday meeting, but I will leave you the verse that you can study. And then mamili kayo kung ano. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 to 7. Try to understand. Try to research. Try. Naku, may guhit na pala itong mga to. Ayan. Try to see. Which view is biblical? The monergism or synergism? Ah. Cut na tayo. 120 na. Okay? So next Friday, not, not next Friday, we have another uh, Tuesday. Uh, we, 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 will, uh, we will discuss another topic about uh, about what you call this i think about the triune god no involving in uh, monergism what is their involvement okay the triune god now uh, after that we have one friday na magmi-meet tayo it will not be on uh, october ano no as scheduled october 5 yata yon October 5 pa schedule. November po, Pastor. Ah, ah November 5. Okay, um up 
after November 5. November 12 po. Magiging November 12, no? Kasi yung November 5, uh, GICM Dubai, merong ano, baptismal kwan. Unfortunately, yung, uh, yung, yung, yung uh, lugar na dapat puntahan is sa uh, uh, hindi hindi back hindi bacon so we move the date okay, anyway the, the 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 online schedule will be the same no only the meeting the meeting ang ano i uh, ano lang natin i-move lang natin uh, but still 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 nandoon pa naman siya sa bracket ng one week no? kasi ang nangyari yung tuesday na online mawawala yon eh So it's either magmo-move forward or magmo-move backward for Friday. No? Yung week ng ano na yon. So either it will move backward or forward. So ang ginawa ko sa schedule ko backward. Kasi uh, what I'm trying to do is uh, 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 during our meeting since na discuss na natin yon, konti lang yung pag-aaralan ko. Maybe I will review or I will prepare myself for your question. Okay? So uh, Then, I have more time to prepare for the next subject. So, ganon. So, ang gagawin ko naman, I will prepare for the next subject, but then uh, at the same time, I will review the, the our, our subject, uh, monergism. So, I will leave this verse to you. And if you like, you can also uh, have all of this uh, link na you can study No? Then, uh, answer the question, which one is biblical? So, sipagan nyo lang siguro. Uh, mas marami pa, mas, mas, mas marami pa kayong ma-acquire na knowledge or ano, kaysa sa akin. Wisdom. No? Uh, ang uh, sikreto lang, nakuha ko rin lang naman to doon sa isang uh, elder. Sabi niya, basa ka lang ng basa. Kahit pa ulit-ulit mo nang binabasa yan, no? kahit pa ulit-ulit mo nang binabasa, basa ka lang ng basa. No? Ma Makacapture mo, maka mo rin yan. There's a new, new idea, new understanding no? with the same subject. Yan lang mangyayari yan. So basa ka lang ng basa. So that, that, that's what I'm doing now. Not only basa ng basa, nood din ng nood. No? Because now we are interactive already. Now there is YouTube. Okay, so we have one uh, hour and 24 minutes, 25 minutes. So I think uh, meron pa ba tayong question? Does regeneration exist without grace? Okay, uh, brother Jonathan Santos. Yung daw bang regeneration, okay, may, may, ano siya, no? exist without grace. Okay, so regeneration will not exist without grace. That's the prerequisite. Yan yung explain natin kanina. Both of them, uh, uh, Calvinism or Arminianism, they believe. They both agree that they need grace, God's grace, to regenerate. Yun nga lang, paano na-apply ito para makuha mo yung regeneration? Huh? Yun ang pagkakaiba nila. Sa, uh, sa, sa monergism, uh, kung i-explain natin is yung uh, view ng uh, Calvinism, Uh, irresistible ang grace. Ang God's grace is irresistible. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo kayang tangihan. Once the Holy Spirit work in your life, regenerated ka. Ang kasunod nun is regeneration. Okay? It's either, uh, uh, kasi isi-circumcise niya yung heart mo, i-open niya ang eyes mo, i-open niya yung ears mo, para ma 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 marinig mo. No? Uh, he will do everything. He will overcome your resistance. God will do that. Okay? But in in uh, in uh, in uh, synergism, okay? Uh, yun nga yung explanation ni Dr. Uh, Oslon, no? And even John Wesley, sabi niya, it's look like yung regeneration is just a half. Hindi pa siya full. So, nag kumilos lang uh, uh, dumating lang sa iyo yung divine grace. Okay? Ito nga eh, ito pa yung pagkakaano noon eh. Yung divine grace parang nagiging yung nagiging kasing level ng common grace. 
Alam niyo yun? Yung common grace, okay? Ang Diyos magpapaulan. Magbibigay ng ulan. Ng hangin. Makasalanan ka man o hindi. Sa lahat ng tao, bibigay niya yan. Everyone will accept that. So parang nalelevel doon yung prevenient grace sa common grace. Ibig sabihin, yung prevenient grace, lahat ng tao, i-enable. Depende na lang sa tao ngayon kung siya ay mag i-accept niya yung ganda ng inoper na salvation or i-reject niya. So that's, that's the, uh, kailangan magkaroon ng, ng grace before the regeneration. Eh, kailangan kumilos ang Holy Spirit sa buhay ng tao before regeneration. Okay? So, <laughs> sampo tayo. Doctrine of Monergism or Synergism. Based on our study for now, we as JICM, sampo tayo. Okay? Ah, asagutin ko na ba o magiging bias naman ako? Kasi, Nasabi ko na yung ano eh. Yung question kasi natin, which one is biblical? Isuspend natin sa Friday, yung Friday meeting natin. Oh, Malay mo sa naman. Ma- Friday, sa Friday na lang. Mabote buying ako. No? Of course, alam nyo naman yung ini-explain natin. No? Uh, we always explain that uh, the, makikita natin nasa side tayo ng moner- monergism. Okay? But the question is, biblical ba yung side natin? Kung ano ah, hindi ko sinasabing natin kasi baka ma- maaring meron diyan synergism pala. Okay? But we we can we can ano, no we can fellowship together. No, we can we can put that aside. We can we can fellowship together. Uh, sabi nga, kita-kita na lang tayo sa langit kung ano ba talaga, no? So, uh Monergism yung lagi nyo naririnig sa mga pastor? Sa mga elder? Pastor, if you oh. are talking in biblical but they are, they are supporting both the verses. Yeah, ano pang ano? Uh, yun nga yung sinasabi natin, no? They are supporting both verses but if you try to analyze Ephesians chapter 4 at chapter 2 verse 4 to 7. Uh, yeah. Par- For the benefit of the ano lang po ha, kaya nagtanong ako. <laughs> Apo, hindi wala wala lang, tama lang po 'yun. Sometimes we can question no just to just to ano no, tama lang naman na mag-question tayo eh. Uh, just to ano rin yung iba. Because uh, you are talking uh, biblical, but their verses is also biblical. Their supporting verses is also biblical. Yes, yes, that's why yun nga yung sinabi ko, di ba? Yung sa First Corinthians, if we yes. uh, yung yung inano ni Pastor Wendel, no? Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 only the holy spirit and i answer that yes the holy spirit moves yun nga yung pagkaka-explain natin how they accept the, the the divine grace so everyone accept the divine grace according to to uh, synergism everyone will accept the divine grace but it's up to them to accept or receive okay. so hindi tayo nagaano diyan pareho sila So hindi ko rin sila kokontrahin diyan kasi na-explain din naman nila. Okay, Romans chapter 3 verse 11. There are no one no one understand God. There's no one who seek God. Tama sila. Ganon din sila. View din nila 'yan. That's why I, I told you no, uh, in Armenianism there is historical Armenianism and classical Armenianism. May mga na ano na nalalayo na sa talagang turo ni Armenia Armenian ni Jacob Armenius. Hindi na halos nila nauunawaan yung ano ba yung historical Armenia, Armenianism. Ano yung talagang stand nila. Even the grace na distort nila. Okay? okay. Eh, pero they, if you study uh, uh, Jacob Armenius teaching, pareho sila ni John Calvin. Diyan lang sila nagkaiba. Okay? They have five points. Both sila may five points. Okay. So ganun yon Uh, now, uh, ma- talagang maraming biblical, but the, the question is, uh, merong isang lalabas na hindi may explain ng isa. At merong, uh, uh, at kung, kung sa, 
Kung sa tingin nyo, parang contradict yung dalawa. Hindi contradict ang Bible. No? So you have to, you, 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 your work is to reconcile that two passage. I-reconcile nyo yung passage na yan. How? Okay, by studying the word. Pareho nyo i-study yon. Ano ang context nito? Ano ang sinasabi nito? That's why. There's no contradiction. Kailangan lang talaga nating i-study. And there, of course, uh, yung kanya-kanyang view nila, ano ba explanation nila, kailangan din natin marinig. Parang ganon. So ito, Romans chapter 3, verse 11, lulusutan nila yan. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, lulusutan nila yan. Okay, let's try to study yung uh, Ephesians chapter 2, uh, verse 4 to 7. Or even extend up to 10. Makikita nyo dyan yung ano. Uh, baka maaari nating makita. Itignan natin. No? Ayan, let, let's talk about that on Friday. Uh, ne, sa Friday meeting natin. Medyo mas maging, maging ma, mas, 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 mas maganda siguro. Kasi harapan. No? Yung iba siguro, nahihiya na lang mag, 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 ano, eh, mag sumagot. Baka na ano sila na ano na hahaba uh, ang oras or what. Okay, so I think yung mga nakasagot naman rito na ano natin ano. Okay. Uh, okay, wala na. Okay, so yun lang po mga kapatid. Tayo po ay ano, uh, magtatapos na. Uh, this uh, assignment, isa-send ko na lang to sa ano natin, no? sa group natin. Para makita nyo to, to, to para makuha nyo to. Okay. Yan, yan. Yung mga link na yan. Try to, try to, try to ano lang. Uh, try to scan. Hindi na mamahabang mga ano yan eh. Mga one. Pwede nyo nga uh, basahin. Kahit nahana sa ano lang kayo na. Uh, uh, maybe 15 minutes matatapos nyo yung isa. Or 5 minutes matatapos nyo yung isang basahin. Five minutes siguro matatapos yung basahin yung ba. Okay? Yun nga lang, may mga reference sila. May mga Bible reference sila na pwede nyong, pwede nyong pag-aralan. Okay, so sino ba ang ano? Total, ikaw naman ang huling-huli, brother. Ay, hindi si brother Jonathan. Siya na yung nagdasal last week. Sino ba ba? Mini-mini-mini mo. Ayun. Brother Roel, ikaw ang nilang nakita ko eh. Ako pa, Pastor? Ah. Oo. Ah, okay. Ikaw ang nakita ko saan eh, nung nilagay, iniskan ko eh. Ikaw ang lumabas okay. eh. Okay. okay. Close mo sa prayer. Okay. okay. If you have another question, just uh, reserve that sa Friday meeting natin. No? Para we have uh, maraming mahaba-haba ng konti talakayan natin. At saka maraming sasagot ng mga elders. No? Elders, please come no para ma-meet nyo rin yung mga ibang sudyante at you can, you can ano, ah, no? uh, This is the only time siguro na you can meet we can meet each others uh, and we can uh, they can hear from you also uh, sa mga ano natin explanation natin I will not be the only one who will answer all the elders will answer the question Okay so uh, brother Roel uh, please uh, close us in prayer Okay uh, Pastor Marami Marami salamat po for initiating the study uh, Thank you po sa mga Let's pray. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po sa very fruitful at uh, um, uh, napaka-lusog na aming uh, natutunan ngayon, Lord, uh, sa langin namin. Uh, ito po ay hindi lamang manatili sa aming mga isip. O Lord, at, uh, ito po ay naway itanim nyo sa aming mga puso na kayo na rin po, Lord, ang magpalago nito. Maging evidence to, Lord, sa aming mga buhay. Sa inyo lahat ang masaganan, Lord, mabigyan namin kayo ng papuri at glory, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ginamit nyo na si Pastor for leading this study, Lord. Uh, we believe uh, na truly, we believe the monergism that, that your power alone that saves, oh Lord. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po na kayo po ang nag nag-decree, nag-initiate, nag at, at nag-complete ng aming salvation. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po. 
Okay. Lord, maraming mandiyadalangin ko rin po sa inyo, mga attendees ngayon, at kanilang mga personal prayers, Lord. Alam niyo po ang kanilang mga puso at mga kahilingan, O oh Lord. Again, sa inyo lahat at papuri at pagsamba. Thank you again, Lord, for the privilege na meron kami. Thank you sa technology. Thank you sa mga buhay na meron kami at mga kasama namin ngayon. Uh, Naway magpatuloy pa to Lord. Uh, uhawin niya po po kami ng iyong mga sarita, O Lord. Pamitin uh, niyo rin po at empower niyo uh, with the power of the Holy Spirit ang aming pastor, Pastor Ray, Lord. Dadalangin ko rin po sa inyo, Lord, ang kanyang mga prayer. Ang kanyang kalusugan, gayon din po ang kanyang pamilya. Lahat ng ito, Lord, dadalangin namin sa inyo. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, Salamat po sa lahat. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night po sa lahat. Picture muna, night Pastor. Night po. Good night po. Salamat po, night po sa lahat. Salamat po sa pag inyong pag-attend. Good night. Good night po muna. Pwede po natin open yung camera natin. Okay. One, two, three. Thank you po, Pastor. Thank you rin po sa okay, lahat. Thank you po. Good evening. Bye. Thank you po, Pastor. Good evening po sa lahat. Good evening po sa lahat. Thank you po. Salamat po. Ingat po kayo lahat. Thank you po sa lahat. And God bless and good night. God bless and good night. Pastor, salamat po. Salamat din po. Welcome po. Welcome sa lahat. Pakita na lang po tayo ulit.